Hey everybody, Eric here from Greybeard Adventures. Welcome to my channel. Today's adventure, something real quick, we're gonna be foraging for mushrooms. And I am super excited because I found a type of mushroom that you don't often find. Let me show you exactly what we've got. We're gonna pick them and then we're gonna cook them. All right, let's do this. Here we are folks, lobster mushrooms. What a find. So it may not look like much at first, it may have just looked like fallen leaves actually, but when you bend down take a closer look, you can see we've got a mushroom. Lobster mushrooms tend to always have dirty caps. It's just the way they pop out of the ground. So brush away the dirt and debris and you've uh, come over here to the side and you've got a beautiful mushroom. I find these mushrooms just so unique and interesting. And what's great is they have, they actually do have a mild lobster flavor. So it, you're not going to bite into it and be like, mm, lobster, just like if you were biting into a lobster tail. But certainly there's that that hint of it, just like an oyster mushroom. It's a very delicate oyster flavor. So um, picking these two for sure, leaving that other mushroom, because I don't, don't know what that is. But we're grabbing these two and we're going to bring them home, clean them up, do something nice with them. Mm-mm, lobster mushroom. So as is the case for any mushroom you pick, you want to be 100% sure with what you have. So uh, lobster mushrooms are pretty hard to mistake, as long as you don't go about thinking that every orange mushroom that you find is a lobster mushroom. You want to make sure you have this general shape, size, texture. that beautiful yellow staining just coming right out of the mushrooms just fantastic exactly what you want to see 